Hey Simon, how you doing? Yeah, good thanks, mate. You? Yeah, oh, good. Just tell us first of all how much of a difference it's made to your career and, and your preparations moving up from cruiserweight to heavyweight. Yeah, it's made a big difference. You know, the obvious reasons why more energy, hydrated, it's a lot more focus, a lot more enjoyment. So it's played a big part. Yeah. Is this, uh, a lot of people have said this and you might get tired of hearing it, but is this a make or break fight for you? It's kind of domestic level, but at heavyweight, the weight you're more comfortable at. You'll be expecting to win this fight. Yeah, I'm definitely expecting to win it. And uh, yeah, I would definitely say it's a make or break fight, yeah. 100% I would say. Uh, win this fight and uh, there's going to be some good opportunities some good fights for me which I'm looking forward to uh, get involved in Has it been frustrating for you at times going from the amateur background great pedigree competing against some of the top fighters in the world and performing really well in your own right to going up against a lower level of opposition and maybe the adaptation to the programme's taken a bit longer than was anticipated Can you take that? Yeah, it's definitely took longer than what I anticipated. I mean, I haven't put everything in the way for the uh, back to the question. Yeah, it, it is frustrating knowing you're in my journey, man. Uh, it might have sound professional, some fighters are different, but when you know you're fighting the gym, to be honest with you, it's hard, like, it's hard to get out of bed and go for a run and be at the gym. Because you know <clears throat> you're supposed to win, you're going to win, and you can turn up 25 percent you can still win, so... That's what I've been doing, which is uh, very unprofessional, I know, but that's just how it's been. You said you haven't always put everything into it in the past. What was it that prompted the change? What's kind of flicked the switch so that you're now taking it dead seriously and you're, you're dedicated? Do you know the uh, Craig Glover fight, when I lost to Craig Glover? Yeah. That was a massive, massive one. I haven't even watched that fight back because it was embarrassing, to be honest with you. Uh, and I haven't took fights seriously. I haven't took boxing really seriously for a long, long time. That would be honest with you. I haven't won anything in boxing for a long time, and I've just been sort of. It's been, to be honest with you, it's been a bit of a hobby for me. You know, I've been doing boxing for a bit of a crack. But that uh, Craig Glover fight, it was embarrassing. And you know, I had people tell me afterwards, just packing what you're playing at, blah, blah, blah. It was real showing up. So after that fight, I thought, right, I'm going to rather pack in. Oh, I'm going to uh, give it one last shot and show everyone how actually good I am. So I went for the later option. I got in, I got in touch with my uh, good friend, Paul Truscott, and he's uh, been training me since we've got four good wins. And now we're going to get our fifth win and an English title. So, yeah, that's it. Former Commonwealth champion, I believe, Paul Truscott. Obviously, fight we all remember well, very entertaining in his day as well. What What's clicked between you guys? Why does it work so well? Well, Paul, Paul Truscott was a, he was a very good friend of mine. Also, we went to the same amateur gym, South Bank, ABC, where I actually won my first uh, amateur title the ABS. And uh, Paul Truscott had a lot of input in that. You know, he's got a lot of boxing knowledge and we're good friends away from the uh, away from the boxing board. He uh, really tells me how it is in the gym and out the gym, you know what I mean? He's really... Uh, just doing it in a bit, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm sure I'll appreciate that. But, 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 but it's working, do you know what I mean? We've got four good wins. And we're in the best shape we've been in. We're going to get our fifth win. We're going to win the title. So, yeah. Brilliant. Well, appreciate it. And very best of luck, of course, for Saturday night. Thank you very much, man.